Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. The first message we have is, you used to be the sweetest girl. Wow. So as you know, the energy can go either way. This could be masculine or feminine energy. But yes, divine feminine. Your masculine is triggered. Okay, I, I just got the word triggered. You have definitely stepped into your power. And I'm definitely feeling that with the activations that are going on, you know, right now on the planet, you have created some type of dynamic shift within your connection with your person, okay? Your person is definitely paying close attention to your behavior at this time. I definitely feel like you are either pulling back your energy intentionally or you are practicing a healthy level of detachment right now. I definitely get the energy of you really, really taking the time to pour into yourself right now. And what your person is going through, they're going through this emotional and mental process where they're looking back over the beginning of the connection and really, really missing that version of you that would just melt in the palm of their hands. Okay, I'm definitely getting that although you are enamored by your person, although you love them, okay, although you know that there is massive attraction and massive love there here, you are focused on yourself right now. And I feel like you're, you, you are at the stage where you know that you have invested a great deal of time and energy into your person and you have really shifted and started to invest all of that back into yourself. And you are really starting to see the benefits of that in your life, okay? Everywhere you go, people may be looking at you. Um, people may definitely be drawn to you attractively. I'm getting all eyes on you, Divine Feminine. And this is because your energy is rising. Your person can feel this. Even if they are at a distance from you, they can feel your energy. Anytime you take a step, um, anytime you elevate, anytime you, you shift in this connection, your person can definitely feel your energy. And let me tell you, Divine Feminine, they are triggered. But I don't know why the energy feels light. It definitely feels like this is good, okay? I can feel your energy, Divine Feminine. It's kind of like you're, you're in this energy where you kind of want to feel, you know, that your person is noticing you changing. You kind of want to feel that they, they, you know, have a different level of appreciation for you from the beginning of your journey to now. And whatever it is that you're doing, Divine Feminine, keep doing it. It's definitely working. And I feel that it's triggering your person in the best way possible. Okay, so you definitely may um, feel uh, just a different you know, energy coming from your person here because they're definitely really, really consumed with what it is that you're doing. If they have access to you visually over social media, if you have mutual friends, your person is definitely, I don't know what is going on. Sorry about that. Your person is definitely trying to figure out what it is that you're doing, who has your attention, okay? Um, how are you allocating your time these days? They are really, really consumed with your energy because they can feel you um, not so much slipping away, but really pouring into yourself, really not being in this place where you are extremely consumed with them and their energy. So yeah, Divine Feminine, whatever you're doing, it's definitely triggering your person, but I'm getting the energy that that this is good. This is this is good. Okay, so let's get some more messages. Let's get the next one here. Wow. We have you're so powerful. Wow. So yes, that's confirmation. If you were wondering if your person could feel, because I definitely feel this is intentional, divine feminine. Um I really feel like you're at this transitional state within your connection where you really, really need to see tangible results. You need to see tangible evidence of what your person feels for you. And what I'm getting here is just by this shift of your mindset, just by you 
getting to this point of your life where you're like, you know what, I'm going to pour this energy into myself. All of this time that I've invested, you know, all of this love, let's see what happens if I actually um, practice on my self-care, um, you know, get, get the sleep that I need, really invest in my hobbies and my creative abilities, my spirituality, really pour all of that energy into the areas of my life that are most important to me. And you have realized that, you know, you have kind of, your energy is just growing and growing and growing and you're becoming extremely magnetic, okay, as you begin to really, really step into your power and your power is being felt by your person, okay, and I'm also getting that whatever changes that you've made here, because this can be various different changes, it's starting from the inside, from the inside out, okay, but I'm getting that you are causing major shifts within your dynamic and you may not feel this but there is so many energetic shifts that are happening behind the scenes just with the shift of mindset okay and what's catching your person off guard here why they're coming through saying that you're so powerful is because you didn't have to do this with force I think that, that this is the thing, Divine Feminine, that really, really um, just your person admires about you more than anything, is that once you put your mind to something, once you shift your energy into something, it literally grows. You don't have to be forceful about it. Your person is realizing that there's power in your tongue. There's power in your energy. There's power in the things that you give your energy to. And they're really, really sitting back, you know, because maybe you had conversations with your masculine and you told them, you know, I'm going to pull my energy back. Or maybe you begin to do this over a period of time here. Maybe they didn't believe that you would get to this point. Okay. Because um, I'm definitely getting that you were at this place where things needed to shift. They needed to change here. And instead of you putting this energy on your person, you know, you kind of said, I'm just going to assume, you know, this position of pouring into myself. I'm going to be the love that, that I've been seeking. I'm going to pour all of this energy into my, into my own heart space. And anything that's for me is going to come back to me. Okay. And because you have taken this powerful, powerful position, everything around you is, is a direct reflection of that divine feminine. Your magnetism is absolutely rising okay your energy is absolutely expanding and your person can feel this even if they are at a distance from you i'm definitely getting that whatever it is that you're doing is making your person want to initiate some type of action they feel this energy of anticipation because they know that you are not you know playing around you're at this place where you're very serious about what it is and what it is that you want in your world okay and i definitely feel that the love that you've been that you've been pouring into yourself, you have literally expanded that love into everything that you touch and every person that you encounter. Okay, your person is definitely looking at you totally different. Okay, totally different. You may have been very soft spoken in the beginning. You may have been very vulnerable, very very open. You're still that same person. Okay, but the shift of mindset has definitely caused your person to look at you totally different now. They definitely feel your power and it's making them want to move towards you. Believe it or not, even if your person, even if your person is not giving you evidence of this, okay, even if their their energy or their actions is a direct reflection of the opposite, okay, of what it is that they're feeling, your person is wanting to take action, swift action in your direction right now simply because you have shifted your mindset, okay? You have literally stepped into your power, Divine Feminine. Wow. This is beautiful. Okay, let's get the next message here. Oh, wow, we have tell me how you feel. Yeah, <laughs> more than anything, this Divine Masculine wants to hear from you. They want to hear how you feel. More importantly, I'm getting, they want to see how you view them at this point. There has been a total dynamic shift here, okay? Your person is all ears. 
They want to hear everything that you've been going through. They want to know what it is that you've been, like how you've been allocating your time. Most importantly, I'm getting, they want to know how you feel about them, how you're viewing them. Now that you step into this kind of higher octave of, of yourself, of your own divinity, divine feminine. Okay, um, your person definitely is getting this energy of you slipping away, definitely feeling the energy of you leveling up here. And some of them are a little bit worried, but because they're worried, this is actually making them want to take action here. Okay, so yeah, you definitely may be getting communication coming in from your person, them really, really wanting to talk to you, wanting to connect with you, some of them wanting to meet up with you, sit down and talk here. Your person is absolutely enamored. If they're watching you from a distance, um, yeah, they can definitely feel your radiance. Even from a distance, they can definitely feel your energy expanding and it's making them worried a little bit because they're wondering if everybody else can feel your energy and they absolutely can. You are definitely very magnetic at this time. You may be getting a lot of attention from other masculines out there, okay? Um, and your person can feel this. It's making them very, very anxious, okay? Um, and they're extremely triggered, but in the best way possible. They're triggered to take action, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, I keep having flashbacks of us. Yeah. Your person is definitely going back in the past, like, you know, pulling out different isolated situations that you've had with them, going over conversations that you've had with them, um, really, really missing your energy, Divine Feminine. You definitely may feel your person pulling on you at this time extremely hard, okay? Extremely hard. And I'm getting that you're feeling this energy too. You actually miss your person. You want to engage with them. You want to you know, connect with them. You want to get closer to them. You want to be more intimate with them here. But I'm definitely getting that you're at this place where you have really like seriously become comfortable, you know, in your own energy. You are really okay with, with where you are right now. And that is a beautiful, beautiful feeling here. But your person is definitely consumed. When I mean consumed, they are thinking about you literally all day long, okay? If you've been intimate with your person, they're definitely replaying key moments here. Um, your person is literally consumed with your energy, okay? They're definitely thinking about um, a certain conversation that you may have had here, something that you said in the past. It's kind of like they're comparing conversations that you had in the beginning versus how you are now, okay? You may be definitely a little short with them or just not so much engaged with them, not so much hanging on to their, to their every word. You know how, this, and how intense this energy can be and how we can literally become consumed with the masculine's energy, you know, waiting for them to respond to you or you know give give you a certain answer or give you some type of um affirm you in some kind of way you know you're affirming yourself and this is very very beautiful energy but your person is definitely um missing that version of you okay It's beautiful because it, it's almost as it, it's like this adverse energy. It's almost as if your person is enamored, okay? They are absolutely stunned by your power, by your ability, by your ability to shift things without being forceful. But then it's almost like they, they have this nostalgic kind of energy where they're missing that part of you, you know, that was just so consumed with them in some kind of way. So it's kind of like they're being pulled in, in two different directions. I feel like their emotions are literally like all over the place, to be completely honest right now, okay? But they're definitely feeling like this really anxious energy. They're feeling extremely impulsive. They're feeling a little bit possessive. Divine Feminine, they are actually like really triggered, okay? really really triggered so you may definitely get an impulsive text okay um they may ask to meet up like really random like their energy may just seem really really anxious okay this is why let's get the next message here wow 
We have your mind forever. Yeah. <laughs> if this message is resonating with you, yeah, whatever you are doing, okay, keep doing it. Whatever you are doing is making your person kind of go crazy, but this is like, not in a like possessive, you know, kind of kind of crazy, like really, really crazy way, but definitely your person is is really feeling this energy. They want you to know that you, you belong to them, Divine Feminine. You may be looking extremely beautiful, extremely radiant. They may have access to your social media. They definitely have eyes on you, okay? Because they can feel your energy rising. They can see it. They can feel it. They know you, okay? Um, they know you very well. So they know how you are when you're in your energy, when you're extremely consumed with them. And they know how you are when you are focused on other things. So they definitely can feel you pulling away from them. But it's kind of like they're giving you a friendly reminder like, hey, you're mine forever. You know? Let's not, let's not forget, you know, this connection that we have. Let's not forget what, what it is that we have going on here. It's like your person wants you to know that you belong to them. Wow. Very triggered, very territorial at this point right now. Divine Feminine, okay, definitely wanting to rush in towards you. So whatever you have done, okay, has definitely caused a dynamic shift where your person is literally about to come chasing after you because they can feel your energy slipping away. And they don't want any other masculine to have access to you in the way that they have access to you, okay? Just for them to think about another masculine being in your energy, you giving them, being consumed with them. They're thinking about in the beginning when you fell in love and when you were so enamored with them, you were hanging on to their every word, they could do no wrong to you. They're really thinking about you going through that with someone else. It's driving them absolutely crazy. Okay, absolutely crazy. So let's get the last message here. Wow. <laughs> the last message we have is, what did you do to me? Yes. Your person is literally asking themselves this question, like, what is going on? What's happening? Okay, I'm definitely getting that they may have been at this place where everything was cool, everything was calm, and then they just literally felt this dynamic shift. And it's almost as if they feel this impulsive, anxious energy. They want to come after you. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know how you're spending your time, who you're spending your time with. Okay, your person is literally consumed with your energy at this time. So if this message resonated with you here, you definitely have went through this shift where you have really started to pour a lot of energy into yourself. You're really, really focusing on what it is that you like, maybe your hobbies, maybe your career, okay? Maybe your spirituality. You're very, very focused on something. And this is something that you naturally love. And this is helping you to kind of heal. Um, this is like really, really placing your energy in a, in a pure place and helping you to expand, helping you to learn other facets of yourself, of your personality. I'm getting you're having a great time, okay? You could be meeting new people. You could just be exploring different versions of your self-divine feminine, and you're having a blast, okay? And your person can feel your energy kind of slipping away from them, and it's triggering them a little bit because they're so used to having that direct, energetic access to you, okay? I'm definitely getting that this is causing a major, major shift within your dynamic. So if you've been pulling away, but you're still wondering what your masculine's mental process is like, what, it, what is it that they're feeling emotionally? How are they viewing you at this time? They're triggered, very, very triggered. So much so that they want to come rushing back into, you know, rushing back towards you as soon as possible. They are feeling as if, you know, this new stance that you are taking is a threat to the connection that you have at this time. And just the thought of someone else having you, someone else, you know, um, you giving your energy to anyone else. Um, I'm getting you looking into someone else's eyes, you falling in love with someone else. That's something that they really, really 
cannot stomach at this time, okay? So yeah, if you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.